Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. APC drags the rug from Obeseki's feet as APC Shifton claims Obeseki's result is not genuine. Another swipes at Obeseki as Shifton's allege that Obeseki credentials is not the same as other UHI alumni. Hmm. Victor Oshioke, member of All Progressive Congress, has stated that Edo Governor Godwin Obesiki credentials was different from that of another graduate of the University of Ibadan, who graduated equally with him. In a comment made by Vanguard, Oshioke also said Ibadan University original comment did not address the specific questions of those asking Obersiki's educational qualifications. He said, none has claimed Godwin Obersiki is not just a UHI student. A lot of people have previously confirmed that Godwin Obersiki, all level degrees in the public high, will not recommend him for a graduation program at Ibadan University. Indeed, some proponent content content that the papers he had in 2016 vary from papers he had to his 2020 application the uhi graduation certificate was also claimed to be different from that of other uhi graduates who graduated with the governor the key point is not whether godwin obesiki was present at ibadan university but whether or not Godwin Obeseki was presenting their new credentials at various times, you can remember that the strategy, tragedy of Bayesa, which is being avoided by all members of the Edo APC, mainly involved differences in the names given at different times by the, by the candidate. But I believe it is Godwin Obeseki who seems to have a lot to do with his real academic background. I do not think the explanation given by the management of the institution of Ibadan shows the different shade of confusion which have just been brought up about Godwin Obesiki educational qualification by many Nigerians. Wow, this is to tell you that confusion has started reigning among the APC members. You can imagine, APC is now dragging Obesiki's feet. And now, they are seeing the reality that Obesiki is not bringing out the original certificate. My question is that, when is, he, he applied, when he lobbied for this governorship election, what did he use? Which of the certificate did he use? Because why is it that now they are now seeing it, that it's a fake one? Does it mean that during that time, uh, a certificate is not important? Because why is it that now they are, they, are, they, are, they are now seeing that it's a forged certificate? Remember that during his first election, Oshomole was, was in support of Obeseki. And this is to tell you that Oshomole asked a question to be answered. He has a question to be answered because he was the one that supported Obesiki. Indirectly, he knew about this certificate. And that is the reason why, Obe uh, why Oshomale is coming out to condemn Obesiki. You know, it's, it's like it looks as if confusion is, is, is really, really coming out among the APC members. And that is what we, what we want because APC, they are full of corruption. You know, because the question is that which certificate did he present to APC during his first term screening process, which he contested and became governor? Which one they need to tell us? What an irony. What an irony. May God help us. You can imagine, we have, we have graduates in our in, in Nigeria, graduates with first class looking for a job, they could not get a single job. And at the end of the day, you see those graduates going to Yahoo boys and all that. 
You look at it now. And we now have politicians with no certificate. Enjoying Nigerians money. What kind of country is this? What kind of selfish countries do we have? What an irony. May God help us. Let's hear people, what other people are saying. You know, they said PDP have golden opportunities to take over now. Oshiamale, who has no qualification, has now turned itself to verification officer to discredit the authenticity of Governor Bersiki's genuine certificate. God in heaven will certainly disorganize their evil plot against Governor Bersiki. They said, I am not surprised at Oshiamale's loss of integrity and credibility. Oshiamale is just like the proverbial leprosy man that cannot make cheese but can destroy cheese. He should know a those state is not his personal property and will not dogmatically follow a self-centered national chairman party. Which certificate did his godfather then use? Oshiamale presented with him in 2016. They said, I am very happy with the ongoing drama in Edo State, Edo, Edo State chapter of APC, and its elections. I think they all know that Nigerians are watching. Professional lawyers are also watching. Even our electoral emp empire, which is INEC, is watching too. Right now, I can stand on my feet to tell Mr. Oshomale that his selfish ambitions and negative wills will plunge a dull APC into losing the seat for another party. Mr. Adams should allow people's choice to prevail. Democracy will never be truncated. I see PDP taking over a dull government. Definitely, PDP is taking over with the way they are doing as if they are not organized at all. They are definitely taking over. But my question is that what is the difference between the APC and PDP? Are they not the same thing? In the first place, PDP was the was the first party that started destroying Nigeria until when APC came in. And now what is the difference? If PDP take charge today, we are still in big trouble in Nigeria. Let's just be sincere to ourselves. All of them, there is nothing, there's no difference between them. That's the thing. Now, what is going on now in Edo State is just that when the same house is against themselves, definitely the house must divide. So definitely, APC is now dividing. Confusion is now among them. You know, may God help us. You know, people were saying that it's a pity that Adams or Shemale is not and have never been a good leader. Surely APC will lose Edo State just because of the same Adam Sushiomale. You know, they said that President Buhari was more guilty of this, but APC went ahead to accredit him and voted for him. Ushiomale, where, where are you then? APC is digging their political grave. If you end up basically, then you must remove Buhari. Ushiomale is ugly all around. You know, from the from this crash, the problem that we have is this Adam to Shomale. Because when you look at it, when you sit down and look at it, you can see that Adam to Shomale was the first person that actually started destroying Edo State. He was the first person because even he was the first person he he, he supported a basic key. During his first election, was it not his godfather? He was. Until when, uh, until when confusion started coming out between Adam Sushiamale and Obeseki. Because Oshiamale was the problem in a dual state. May God help us. You know, let's hear what people are saying. They said, that, are you the university that will determine if the result is genuine? The university which issued the result has come out to confirm the authenticity, but only for the useless politicians to say the result is not genuine. 
APC as a party is a lawless party that always hacked against the constitution by, by carrying out illegality accusing people of using fake results even when they know they are claiming is false. After all, the Supreme Court has acted against the constitution to authenticate a candidate without any certificate to contest as a president. Nigeria will soon crumble under lawless APC government. Time is ticking. Time is definitely ticking with all this thing. With all this thing. It's definitely ticking. Because we need to just ask ourselves that uh, how come this is now happening? How come that they are now seeing that uh, Obesiki has a fake result? Because Oshia Male was aware of everything before now. So why now? Is this a fight for the poor masses or for selfish reasons? It is only God that can help at those state people with this problem that they are bringing out. It is only God. So guys, what is your own take? What do you think about this? Your comment is highly appreciated. Kindly drop your comments at the comment section. For those who subscribe, want to say a very big thank you to you. We say thank you so much for watching our news. Thank you and please don't forget to press the notification button and if you're yet to subscribe, kindly press the subscription button and also the like button so that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to watch our latest news. Thank you. Stay safe.